Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's Plan of Rescue. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation, and the author of the Book of Love, Standard Literature of Triple Grace. This book you can pick up at Amazon.com. Now, today our topic, my dear followers of the past, my daily sacrifices. Our topic today is the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant was taken down to Jerusalem by King David. And he did that so that everybody could have access to it, come near to it, not touching it, but it was put in a tent and the people could come and pray and worship the Lord. He made it possible that everybody could have access to it. And then later, he made the plans for the temple that his son Solomon then built. Now, what was in the Ark of the Covenant? In the Ark of the Covenant was the Ten Commandments, the Staff of Aaron, and a container with manna, the, the heavenly bread the support of the Father for the children of Israel during their exodus. Why is the Ark of the Covenant so important? Because the Ark is an altar, a the altar of the Father, is a holy seat, and only the high priest had access to it in the old times. But now everybody should have access to the holy place. And so a new altar, a restored altar will come forth. And it will have something to do with the Ark of the Covenant. Because the new altar that we are presenting, that we are restoring with our societies of the rose and with our gathering of the people with the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. Our altar is based on love, unity, and support. And now, my dear followers of the past, my beloved brothers and sisters, now comes the fantastic thing. Now compare these three items that I just mentioned, love, unity, and support, with what is in the original Ark of the Covenant. The Ten Commandments. What has Jesus said? What will fulfill the commandments, the laws, and all the prophets? He said, if you love your father above else, and if you love your neighbor as yourself. So love, love will fulfill the Ten Commandments. So now we have the Ten Commandments in the original Ark of the Covenant, and we have the restored altar of love. That's already a perfect match. And then we have the stuff of Aaron. And this stuff was what? It was a stuff of a shepherd. And what is the shepherd doing with the stuff? He's guiding the sheep, putting the sheep into unity, into a herd together, collecting the flock and building a unit out of the sheep. This is the stuff of Aaron. So the stuff of Aaron represents the unity of the believers. And what do we have? Love and unity. And now the third item was the manna given from heaven. And this manna represents the support of the father for his children, the Israelites, in, the exo in, in, in their exodus from Egypt. And now ours, our last point on the restored altar is support. This is similar to the manna. And also in our, on this altar, the Father will place you under his wings and will support you on your way in the great exodus out of the world and out of Babylon towards Mount Zion. And it will be so great and so powerful. Have an understanding that the Ark of the Covenant has very much to do with love, unity, and support. And love, unity, and support is a new restored altar. 
the restored altar of the book of Acts, Acts 2, where the people came together with a lot of zeal and shared their resources and supported one another. See the comparison to the book of Acts, to the restored altar of love, unity and support, and to the Ark of the Covenant. I thank you that you were here with me and that you listen to this topic today. Think about it. How close these three are matching together. How important the Ark of the Covenant is with the new restored altar of love, unity and support. And then come forth, join us and walk with us the holy path towards Mount Zion. Come together in love, unity and support in societies of the world. Join triple-grace.com and have an understanding how you can serve this dark world with the heavenly gifts that were given to you. Thank you that you have listened to this topic. My name is Michael and I hope that you have a blessed day and that I will see you again tomorrow. Maranatha.